Congratulations. Among all the tutorials on the internet right now about Bloom, you guys found the one video that's gonna teach you all the secret effects to making this really insane Bloom inhalation effect that most people won't tell you how to do. And on top of that, I'm gonna show you how to create this really cool Bloom effect without even touching Premiere Pro. So once you have your video in your timeline that you wanna create the Bloom effect on, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and click Alt, click on your video and then drag it up create a second duplicate layer of the video. And then we're gonna type in Luma Key. Next, we're just gonna drag that Luma Key onto our second layer. And we're gonna type in Gaussian Blur. And then we're gonna grab that Gaussian Blur and then we're gonna put it onto our second video. And what Gaussian Blur is gonna be doing is it's just gonna be softening the brights of our video. Now on the Gaussian Blur, we are going to change the blur amount to 250. Next, we're gonna add another Gaussian Blur to our layer. Now on the second Gaussian Blur, we're gonna be changing the dimensions to only the horizontal. And then on this Gaussian Blur, we're gonna be changing it to 50. Now, one of the secret sauces that you can add on top of all this is if you click on your second layer and then go over to Effects and Controls and then go down to Opacity, and we're gonna be changing this to 45. If you go up to the Luma key and you play around with the threshold and the cutoff, these two factors will determine how much of the bloom effect will be appeared in your video. Now to add the cool halation effect to this, the first thing we're gonna do is go over to Effects and we're gonna type in Channel Blur. Once you find Channel Blur, we're gonna be adding that to our first layer. We're gonna go down to the red blurriness and we're gonna change it to 20. What this effect does is if you look really closely, you'll see that there's a slight red halation glow around your all the edges of your video. Ooh, do we need more sauce? Give it to me, give it to me. I got you, hold up. Next, go over to effects and we're gonna be typing in HLS noise auto. We're gonna be dragging this onto our first layer. We're gonna be changing the type to grain. Now we're gonna go down to lightness and we're gonna be changing this in between 10 and 20. And what this effect does is it's pretty self-explanatory. It pretty much just adds a noise to your video. It's the best high quality grain with no plugins that I've found. Suda, we need more secret sauce. I got you again. Another secret tip that you can do is if you search up Lumetri color and we add this to our second layer and then if we go down to the temperature from here, you can change the bloom to make it a little bit more of a cool bloom. Or if you want to make it more warm, you just move it to the right. And now you just created this really cool bloom effect. If you guys want to create the best bloom effects for your videos and save that sweet time, then check out my Bloom Halation Presets Pack that is filled with different styles of bloom effects for every kind of video. It also includes halation presets, professional grain presets, and also film burn overlays to have that complete package to creating that beautiful aesthetic videos. There's also a sale going on right now for a limited time, so go check it out before it's gone. Now the easiest way to create this bloom effect is with one of these. This is a KNF Concept 82mm Black Diffusion Mist 2-in-1 ND filter. That was a mouthful. In short, it is a combination of a ND filter and a mist filter. This is my favorite ND filter because not only is it an ND filter, but it also creates this amazing bloom effect in all your videos. Now, this video isn't sponsored by KNF or I'm not sponsored by KNF. I'm just trying to help you guys out in your filmmaking needs. So if you guys want to go look this up, I'm going to be leaving a little Amazon link down below if you guys want to go check it out. I forgot to film an outro. So if you guys want to learn more cool effects, drop a like and subscribe and consider watching this video right here if you want to learn how to level up your editing.